It's Britney, bitch. Shake your tits. Dunkin' Donuts. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another weekend chat. I'm late. Oh my God, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm late. This little Sunday, a day of rest, but not for May, weekend chat. Okay, so uh, I'm late. Oh my God, <laughs> two weeks in. I miss my Saturday morning post. But it's for a good reason. So I lost track of the days and I wound up taking myself on like a little mini vacation day, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But um, it was supposed to rain this weekend here on the East Coast. So yesterday I was like, oh, well, I'm supposed to do my weekend chat right now, but it's going to rain all tonight and tomorrow. So I'm going to miss this exhibition show. So I was like, well, I'm going downtown. I went to this floral exhibit. They reopened all this area by, um, oh, what's that area called? I don't think it's Soho. I think it's the West Village meets Chelsea by the Gansfort, the High Line. If you know that area, like DVF is down there. It's um, a really cute spot, but they just kind of reopened it. And I was like, oh, I want to get down there before it rains. And it was so cute. And there were so many cool like art pop-ups and artists. It was very crowded. But I will say it was nice to get that like New York City electricity feeling of being like in a moment. I don't know. So it was worth it. But anyway, Legends Only is out now. This is coming out next. And we're here. So I wanted to just start off by just thanking everyone for the really positive feedback from last week's episode, where I really went in and kind of just like shared something that I've been wanting to talk about for a really long time. And it felt really good to just get it out and off of my brain and out of my brain and into the world. And it was nice to hear other people be like, I totally know what you're saying and what you're, you know, feeling. I feel the same exact way. And I also noticed, and this has no correlation, but I noticed that there were a lot of press articles last week. There was a really good article in Refinery29, not sponsored, but um, it was talking about Naomi Osaka and literally the same thing that I was kind of, they obviously they did a much better job of kind of like, uh, well, pun intended, refining it into a, a much more uh, concise article where they really got to the point super quick, where I was just kind of like blabbing and just trying to figure out like what it was that I was thinking. But they were talking about how they hope people in their everyday lives will feel inspired and empowered by this much more public display of, you know, an incident. Uh, to really focus on their mental health. And um, I was like, okay, it feels good to know that I'm not alone in this feeling as uh, clearly a lot of you aren't either. So that was just really cool. And, um, you know, it reminded me why I do this weekend chat and like why I enjoy doing it is because, you know, it's good to talk about like real shit. So um, I hope you guys had a good weekend. Well, are having a good weekend. It's not over yet, but I've got my uh, Duncan. I've got an iced tea today it was an accident but i went with it i was like oh that doesn't look like coffee but um still delicious nonetheless it reminds me literally that girl that was on tiktok that was like you mix the lemonade with the iced tea it's fucking fire literally me today except there's not lemonade in it um so anyway yeah that is uh the update here and also, I'm just putting it out into the world. I am now currently, you know, kind of on the... I actually, now that I think about it, I really did have to get out that weekend chat, like that story. I needed to release it into the world before I moved on to my next moment because I'm now looking for a new job, whatever my next chapter is going to be. And I made the decision to open it up broader and not just kind of talk internally, like not internally, that sounds like I'm a co company, like, <laughs> what did I mean? Like privately with people in DMs, which I have been doing, I've been doing for a while. But I also was just like, you know what, it's, you know, we're moving into this new era and this new whatever. And I feel like you have to open yourself up to new opportunities, kind of like, you know, going out into the world and opening yourself up to new music, new people, new experiences, new places, new things, new cities, new whatever. When you do that, like life kind of 
I don't know, it's magical. It kind of like opens up, you know? And so I thought, okay, well, why don't I do the same and open myself up to the internet and social media who, I don't know who's out there who might be listening, watching, seeing, whatever, and see what happens and see what plays out. So that's kind of what I'm doing now. And uh, we'll see what happens and which way the waves take me and the wind blows or whatever the saying is. I don't know which way the coffee shakes out. (laughs) This iced tea is actually delish. I might switch over now. But anywho, so this week, I actually wanted to start out, this was kind of, this honestly kind of shook out like over the past 48 hours. I I was like not planning on talking about this this week. Um, I was gonna talk about something else, but I wanted to share it because I feel like when I talk about things, which is why I always advocate to people, therapy or journaling or venting to a friend like calling up a friend and being like hey can i vent about something like getting something out there and just releasing it from your mind and your thoughts is so helpful and for the longest time i'd always feel guilty about doing it like even with like Lindsay, i'd be like i feel so i'm like can i vent and she's like yes you can fucking vent like always like (laughs) call me and i'm like okay i feel bad i don't want to waste your time i feel like i'm complaining i don't like complaining i feel like it's you know But it's so important, and so that's what this weekend chat is, and thank you all for indulging me and my little moments. But I ultimately do feel like it's, I I try and have it be productive. So today, I wanted to talk about something because I took myself on a date the other day, you guys, and I had so much fun. And it was so weird because I have been really like, every single day, I, I don't really have a routine right now, and this is bear with me here. I kind of, there's like something here that I don't know where I'm going with it, but like they feel connected. And maybe as I talk it out to y'all, it will feel like it makes sense. So I, the other day took myself on a date and it was a planned day where, um, I decided like, okay, take the day off and like free your mind of any anxiety or worries or work or something, projects, list, to-do list, Because right now I've been really, um, I don't have a schedule. It's like completely different and it's super lax. And I know that that sounds like it would be chill, which it kind of is. But like, you know, sometimes it gives me anxiety and I'd be like, well, you know, am I getting anything accomplished? So I don't know. It's like, I feel like the pendulum was so far one way. And like, I, I kind of look at like a pressure gauge and it's like, it was completely maxed out with what, you know, everything I talked about last week. It was like my pressure gauge was at max and about to explode, right? Now that I've released that pressure by quitting a job, it's like gone completely in the opposite direction, right? So I don't have like a structure in my days anymore. So I found that I have to build that out. So my walks are like the one thing that keeps it structured. My walks, intermittent fasting, which I've stuck to for almost two years now. Those are like really the only things that keep me, oh, and the the podcast too, like the weekends. But like other than that, my days are completely unstructured and it's not always easy. So I wake up, I like try and find something to do really is like, um, so I've been dividing up a lot of really tedious tasks, like organizing all my external hard drives. Um, The other day I did, which actually wound up taking a full day's worth of work, was the Legends Only YouTube channel. So I went in, changed all the thumbnails. I went in, I changed all the end cards, the tags, every single description, which I thought was going (laughs) to take like, you know, an hour, maybe two hours and took like closer to eight because it's, you know, you have to go in one by one. And I was like, oh, there's like almost 80 episodes here. Um, I still have to do the weekend chat and all that too. But uh, anyway, as the point is that every single day I've been trying to kind of find a task, like something to do that feels productive every single day to give myself structure. I redid my website. I made graphics to post about wanting a job. Like all these things, every single day I would build them out. And the other day I was like, you know what? Let me just take a day where I treat it like it's a vacation day. And I act like I would if I go on vacation, which is just kind of like spontaneous, go with the wind. So I went out, took myself to a restaurant. I was chatting with this girl. It was like her first week. We were sitting, chatting. We were talking about like the area and Hell's Kitchen and just like, 
how we've been dealing, going back to real life. And I stayed there and I just like sat and was like chatting with the waitress. I was chatting with the lady that was like next to me. She was there by herself. I had the most amazing cheeseburger I've ever had in my life. And that's a bold statement. Then I like walked to another bar and it was open and the lady was outside and she said hi. She like complimented my hair. She's like, oh my gosh, you have such nice hair. And I was like, oh, work. Um, Can I get a drink? And like, then we started talking and I just like sat outside. I think you guys saw my stories. It was like the cars honking, but I literally was just like fucking chilling. And then I went home, played video games. And I was like, I want to like go back out again because it was like chill. It was nice. It was like gorgeous out. So I went back out again to this other restaurant. I was talking to that waitress. She was so cool. I saw her again. Brad and I went to the same spot after we recorded Legends Only. And she's like, oh, hey again. I was like, oh my God, how are you? But um, I don't know. I just like, I had such a good day and it was like so nice to just plan such like a, a moment where I didn't have a to-do list and it was like literally just 24 hours and it was so nice to just free myself of that pressure because I feel like especially now I don't know as if you're a freelancer you know exactly what I'm talking about it's like every single day you feel like you can't relax and so I'm trying to get better with that but I had this really good day and I don't know what the fuck was going on but after that day I got this like influx of like negative anonymous people. I don't know if it's like one person or multiple people. I honestly don't know. Being like really negative, calling me fat, talking about my weight, talking about all this. And I was like, what is going on? And like someone was like really rude in my DMs. And I was like, okay. And then on the apps, which the gays, you know what I'm talking about on the apps, I don't know what the energy was in the air, but it was like people just going out of their way to be unsolicitedly, that's not a word, but like just going out of their way to be rude for absolutely no reason whatsoever, like uncalled. Like I was like, what is going on? I'm like, I'm having a good day. I'm like sitting, I'm chilling by myself. My skin is clear, which if y'all know, I have had the worst skin issues in the past. So like to sit there and be like, oh, no filter on that fucking iPhone HD front facing camera bullshit to have my skin look clear. I was like, I listen, I was sitting there in my cheap ass workout clothes with my clear skin and my hair was quaffed and I was feeling myself and look at it like attracted all of these wasps, right? <laughs> like, I'm like, what the fuck is going on in y'all's day? What did I do? So I wanted to talk about it because at first I was debating not even mentioning it and being like, I don't even want these people to know that I saw this. But then I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to talk about this because I feel like it's something that a lot of us deal with, especially the apps, but like unsolicited negative feedback for like absolutely no reason. It, It reminds me of like the person who, you know, something good happens in your life. You have a cute outfit on. You just got a promotion. I don't know. Like you've had some kind of like little life accomplishment that you want to celebrate. And you know, there's always that one person that gives you the backhanded compliment. You know what I'm saying? We all have that person, right? And I feel like online now, it it opens people up. Now they can be like keyboard warriors, like they can do it anonymous. And I was just kind of like, I don't know. Like for a split second, I kind of let it get to me. And I was like, pausing and I was like talking to myself yesterday I was like writing it out I was like journaling it I was like why did that get to me for like a split second and then I was like oh because when you're vulnerable vulnerability opens people up to know what your inner saboteur is right and I've shared what mine are and then I realized that oh this person knows what they are and they're just mirroring what they know my insecurities are. That's what they're doing. And it's so cheap, right? Like, it's so easy to do. Like, oh, you're fat. Oh, your weight. Oh, this. And I'm like, okay, yeah, and what? Like, what's like, what's the issue? Like, I've been honest. I've been open about it. So what are you, you're like using something that I've been vulnerable about against me. It's really just like sad. I'm like, okay. And like, what do you want? Like, what's the issue? Like, what's the point? You know, I don't understand it. And like, I know my friends get it too, where like people on dating apps will just go out of their way to be rude for no reason, like trash their hair, call them fat, 
be like, I don't even want to talk. I didn't even want to talk to you anyway. Like, if you don't respond after a couple hours, people will go like nuts. I don't. What is it, y'all? Like, I really don't get it. And especially now, after the past year and a half of everything that we've all been through, if you feel if, if you're someone who feels the need to go out of your way to be rude to another human after everything we've all been through for the past year and a half. I don't even know what to say. Like, I really don't even know what to say because at this point, it's like so sad and like so we've all gone through it for the past year and a half. I can't even process the thought of like trashing someone's appearance or their body or like, you know what I'm saying? Does anyone else have that same kind of a thing, especially on like apps, whether it's Grindr or like a dating app or Twitter or like whatever, where you feel like people just unsolicited feedback negative it's like why i'm like if you don't it's like if you don't want to hook up or like sleep with someone or date someone then just don't go on the date just be like no thank you i'm not or just don't don't swipe left i don't know so that was like going on and the only reason why i bring it up is because like even brad saw it it was like brad saw it and then other people saw it and i don't know what was happening with twitter's algorithm or like their api because i think i said this either on Legends Only or like last week on the podcast or something, I don't remember where, where shows were getting spoiled for me. And it was shows that I had muted. And I was like, why is why am I seeing literally like the entire plot line for the Pose finale? I muted this. So I don't know. I think something with Twitter got messed up for a brief moment. But I've since fixed it. Like I went through, I like muted all the stuff. I like went back, I checked, I, I reset all of my mutes and my notifications. So, you know, I will no longer see them. Um, but yeah, I just, th- that was like a thing that happened. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to talk about it because here's the thing. Like you guys know, I've been on this journey for almost two years. I mean, my whole life, but for the past two years. And I've been very like honest and vulnerable in sharing it. And I think it's important because something that was also going on with me recently, which I just realized and had like an aha moment. Um, So I have put on about like eight to 10 pounds since the beginning of February, which is like not really that much. Like it honestly does, like I don't see it in my face. I don't notice it, but I realized that I had fallen out of my routine of um constantly like weighing myself every like end of week because my routine is just different. So I stopped doing my whole like Friday, Saturday check-in and I did it the other day and I was like, oh, I gained 10 pounds. Like, oh, oop. But I've still been doing intermittent fasting and all that stuff. I just have been like, you know, going and like meeting people now for drinks and dinner. And that was something that uh, for the past year and a half we haven't been doing, right? Like we've all been staying home and I've just been on this routine that's been so good. And now that friends are vaccinated, I'm vaccinated, things are open and I'm trying to catch up with people. It's like, oh my God, let's go to dinner. And so I will go and like meet someone one on one for dinner. And then it's like, you know, a couple of drinks later and then like whatever. And so we're hanging out being normal. And it's just this lack of routine. And so anyway, the long story short is I am just realizing I have to get back on like a schedule. And I was like, oh, but for a split second. And I think it was like in this moment where I was getting this influx of like rude comments And then the next morning I weighed in and I was like, oh shit, I gained 10 pounds. I had like a a, a brief moment of like, oh, did I fuck up, you know? And I want to talk about it because one of the things that has been so helpful for me is like recognizing that like a setback or like a speed bump or whatever does not mean that you have ruined any progress that you've made in your life whether it's with weight loss whether it's you know i don't know something that you're improving in your life or whatever we all have brief little momentary setbacks and it doesn't mean that your progress has been ruined and so literally this morning on my walk i was like you know i kind of like walk and talk to myself kind of or i just kind of like figure out what i'm gonna do that day and I journal in my notes app and I write out ideas like I'll write things in my voice memos or like whatever. And I was walking this morning and I was like, you know what? I am not going to let some anonymous account and this brief little blip in time, like what, three, four months 
where I fell off a routine and I gained, like I lost 50, I gained back 10. Okay, like who, it's fine. Like I'm not gonna let this moment or someone's anonymous opinion destroy years of progress that I've made. And I feel like I've made so much other improvements in the past few months, mentally and like spiritually, that I honestly kind of like, dropped my other routine a little bit, you know, like I just wasn't keeping up with it because I've been focusing on meditation and sleep and practicing my music stuff and trying new things. And, you know, it just it's like, I don't know. I just think that like, especially if you've struggled with weight or your diet or anything like that, like I have in the past, something like this would completely derail me for a year or two years because I've seen it happen to myself. Like someone will make one, literally, I there is a moment where I was doing so good and there was one person that made one comment and I threw out all of the progress that I had made because I was so upset by what this one person had said to me and I believed it. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get rid of all this. And I completely, I literally stopped. And so that's not what we're going to do anymore. <laughs> we're not doing that anymore. It's one blip in time and we're going to move forward. And there was actually, there was a visual that someone sent me where it was a visual about progress and it was like a gradient. And then there was like a, a it was like a yellow gradient. And then there was like a red blip where like something had happened. And it was like, either you let like just let it pass. It was something I don't even know if this makes sense. But it was like a, a gradient. And there was like a little red blip in the middle of the gradient. And it was like, this too will pass. And I always try and like remember that as like a little speed bump doesn't have to derail all of your progress, right? It's a new page, new chapter. Tomorrow's a new day. The sun will rise, as Kelly Clarkson once sang. I just wanted to address it because I there were people who even messaged me. They were like, I'm seeing like all, and I was like, I am too. Like, I don't know why, what the hell is going on. I'm like, what the fuck? And yeah, just like people on the apps being so aggressively nasty, which that is a whole different discussion, which I think we should have that conversation, especially with the gays. I don't understand all of that, but like that's a different discussion for a different day. I feel like um, I've said enough with that, but um, yeah, it just had me kind of thinking about like progress and trusting the process and even just all the people who would say nasty things to me about, um, you know, me sharing that I do intermittent fasting and they'd be like, oh, so you're just starving yourself. Oh, so you're just not eating like just really backhanded, whatever. And I'm like, oh, if you actually like took a moment to like ask or maybe inquire and not just throw a judgment at me, you'd know that one, <laughs> I mean, I've still been doing intermittent fasting. I gained 10 pounds. So it's not about weight loss. It's honestly more about one routine Two, it keeps my stomach and like my gut health. It keeps all of that calm. Like I used to have a really, um, uh, what's the word? I don't want to say volatile, but like my stomach, like I used to have really bad bloating and just like digestive, what's the word? Like pain and problems. We'll just leave it at that. We'll just leave it at that. Okay. It used to be a very volatile situation in the guts and then in all the tunnels and whatever. And intermittent fasting combined with probiotics really calmed everything down. And then my gut health improving helped my skin clear up. And then it also helped my sleep because diet is connected to your blood sugar and blood sugar affects your sleep and it affects the circadian rhythm that affects your sleep. It like there's so I could keep going on and on and on. It's so much more than just weight loss and the number on the scale. The benefits, it helps with stress. It helps with your skin and inflammation and your gut health and like so many other things. But again, people just want to throw their unsolicited judgments or backhanded compliments at you. And I am not tolerating it <laughs> anymore, especially after the past year and a half. Like my tolerance for rude people is so, um, I don't even want to say it's low. I want to say it's non-existent. Like does anyone else feel like after this past and I know that this is a thing because have you seen all the reports that are coming out about people quitting their um, 
customer service and like service industry jobs because people are done with dealing with like nasty ass people. So they're like, fuck this. I'm not doing this job anymore because I'm not being treated like shit by fucking assholes anymore. Like it's a, it is a real thing. It's not just me. And I feel like my tolerance for people being aggressively rude for absolutely no reason is just gone. Like it's gone. Like I can't. Like it's just so, uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe it'll eventually come back as like life comes back. But like seeing people being rude to waiters and bartenders and like uh, just it's so not and like or sending a non hate via a Stan account like on Twitter. Like I don't have the tolerance for it. I we're not we will not be doing that moving forward. Mm -mm, Nope. No, ma'am. Not in this house. But anywho, kind of wrapping up this weekend chat, I don't really know what the point was in me sharing that. But like, I know I'm not alone in getting comments like that because my friends send me screenshots of like really rude things that someone has said to them on Grinder for no reason. I've seen people tweet about it. Like, I think it was someone who said, um, you know, daily reminder this Pride Month that you don't have to be aggressively nasty to people that you don't want to fuck or something. And I'm like, thank you. Um, I know that like my best friend, she has gotten messages from men that just completely trash her appearance for absolutely no reason at all, like just completely uncalled for, for no reason. And so I don't know, do like, do you guys have that same kind of experience? I don't know, I guess, what is my point? What is my point? I don't really know what my point is. I think maybe my point in talking about this is that like, I don't think we should tolerate it anymore. Like maybe talking about it here, because that's the other thing too, whoever this was, or if it's multiple people, the things they were saying, clearly they're listening. So thank you for the plays and thank you for the engagement. Even though I only make like five cents a month on YouTube, thank you for contributing to 0.00125 of that. (laughs) that nickel i guess um clearly you're listening so like i i don't really understand but it's also like i think in the in the way that i was trying to talk last week about how we should not normalize or accept this new kind of treatment as we like in in the workplace moving forward and we should focus on like work life balance and really creating a new normal maybe that is what my point is is like as we move into this new normal like this anonymous you know the way that we accept these messages from like it's unacceptable and i don't think we should tolerate it and i don't think we should accept it moving forward is if that's if that makes sense hit the mute button hit the block button hit the swipe left remove whatever um what is it called on instagram restrict so that way they can just keep talking into the void of their own negativity like that's my point i guess this week is i was going to talk about something completely different i was literally going to talk this week about um the creative process and trusting creativity and um there was a question on discord actually which maybe i'll get to next week now about finding motivation and inspiration in learning new skills and i was like oh this is actually really interesting and something that i went through and i unpacked in therapy so i would like love to share and talk about that however then this all this other stuff came up and i was like i think i just want to get this off my chest because i don't know i would i kind of want to like i mean here's the other thing too is like i kind of want to be like joking and like funny and tell everyone to tweet me the hamburger emoji but then like I, it's kind of like <laughs> i don't think see the, the other thing too and maybe some people just don't get it is like i have a really twisted sense of humor and so for me humor and like being able to laugh at myself is healing for me like when i can get myself to a point where i can make a joke and it genuinely doesn't make me upset that's kind of like i don't know like that's just my sense of humor right like it's like with the clown emoji with like the cheeseburger emoji the cheeseburger emoji is a reference to someone who used to do it to like someone used to send me cheeseburger emojis did I talk about this on a weekend chat like years ago? I might have. So it's like once I can flip something into being funny, then it's freeing for me. But I know that not everyone's like that. So I don't know. Don't tweet me the cheese. Don't, do not tweet me. The, I'm not saying tweet me the cheeseburger emoji. Um, What could you tweet me? I don't a heart. Let's just make it a heart this week. Let's keep it positive and optimistic. 
But like, tweet me the heart emoji if you feel like I'm, I don't know, if you find my like honesty and kind of like sharing my like missteps and my like step backs and like setbacks or whatever on here helpful. And like, I don't know, because I feel like we all have them and I feel like you have to acknowledge them in order to like move forward. And I just think like with my whole weight loss thing, 2019, like mid 2019 through the end of 2020, which is like solid, that's a solid amount of time and a fucking pandemic to maintain the way that I did. I honestly think like I'm going to pat myself on the back and I'm going to give myself five gold stars and a trophy and a gold medal because I think I really fucking did that and I did a great job. And it wasn't until my routine was um, dis, uh, what's the word? Okay, um, dissolved. Yeah, my routine was kind of dissolved and my routine disintegrated. And I've had to kind of like rebuild it that I noticed my routine kind of slipped with everything. And I'm like, oh, so it really has been this whole time really just about a routine and diet and maintaining that because I've still been doing all my other stuff, but I don't know. I just think it's a brief setback. I'm really not like bothered by it. Like, honestly, do I, I'm flagging it. I'm definitely flagging the moment because obviously we don't want 10 to turn into, you know, 30, but I'm also not going to beat myself up or let someone's anonymous like comments about it destroy all of that really good progress that I made. Like, I, th- this is, that is what we're doing here on this weekend chat. I went and I took myself on a date, which I think all of you should do. By the way, highly 10 out of 10 recommend doing. It is so fun just going and not having a schedule and just going and treating yourself to whatever it is that you want, whether it's rock climbing or going to see a concert, going and getting your favorite type of food at your favorite kind of a restaurant or going splurging at a new restaurant that you've never tried before. If it's going and shopping, buying yourself a new bat, I don't know, whatever it is, whatever the fuck you want to do, go out and do it next weekend. Make yourself a plan right now. You are going to go out and you are going to treat yourself to whatever the fuck you want, whatever you deserve. Hell yeah. Don't let any of your friends send you any backhanded comments about what the fuck are you doing. Go and do whatever you want. Set aside a day and do it. I promise me it or not promise me. I promise you that it will be fun. And I think me doing that triggered some people. I don't know what it was, but that's their problem. It's not my problem. And I was like, okay, well, while we're talking about it, since clearly some people want to have opinions, I'll just share. Yes, I gained 10 pounds back, but it's not going to set me back. That's the weekend chat today. It's kind of a me problem weekend chat. I feel like I didn't have a, a takeaway this week, which I don't like ending an episode without a takeaway. But anyway, Y'all are in the Discord. Send me a message. Let me know if any of that made sense. Do any of y'all deal with the same thing on like the apps, dating apps, friends, acquaintances, coworkers, whatever, who have backhanded compliments when you achieve something or you share something happy? I don't know. We're not going to tolerate that moving forward. That's today's weekend chat message is we will not be tolerating toxic, backhanded, anonymous hate (laughs) on the internet we will be moving in a new life with work-life balance and surrounding ourselves with positive people and positive creativity in this new era and i think if you put that out into the world you attract it back right so um that's today's weekend chat and then next week i'll get into if you guys want i will get into the um conversation about like uh creativity and the process and finding motivation to try new skills and the fear that comes with that and the frustration that comes with that and kind of why we feel uh, resistance when we're trying something new and why it's so difficult to do it. Anyway, I have a whole journey about that that I can share if you guys want. Um, So yeah, tweet me the heart emoji and the artist palette if you want to hear that. And just kind of let me know what you think. I feel like I'm rambling. I don't know. Maybe it's the iced tea. (laughs) My routine, my routine is thrown off because I didn't have my iced coffee this morning. But I think there is caffeine in this, right? There's ice. There's cap. I don't know. I'm not asking. Hey Siri, is there caffeine in iced tea? Here's an answer from CaffeineInformer.com. Iced tea contains 5.88 milligrams of caffeine per FL, 19.87 mg per 100 milliliters. Okay, thank you. Hey Siri, can you tell all of my podcast listeners to have a nice Sunday? Sorry. I can't search your podcasts. Wow. You, you hater. I cannot believe you don't listen to my weekend chat. You hater bitch. 
why can't you get her to say things? Like, why can't you be like, hey, Siri, can you say, have a good Sunday, a day of rest, but not for me? Hmm, I don't have Oh my God, oh, I'm done with you. Okay, well, love that journey. Thank you all. I hope you guys have a good week ahead. Let's make this a fun week. What you are going to do is you're going to go and you're going to schedule out that self-care date day. What I am going to do is I'm going to try and find a new job and I'm going to get myself back on a routine. I think I'm going to write it out. I think that's going to be helpful because I got the intermittent fasting under control. I still do my daily walks. That's not a problem. But um, I lose track of, as you guys know, if you listen to Legends Only, I lose track of time all the time. I lose track of the days. I sometimes I stay up till like 4, 4.30 in the morning working on beats and bops because I don't have to be up in the morning, which, you know, that's not going to last forever. So I just got to reel it in and I'm going to make myself a schedule and I'm going to work on that. Y'all schedule your date night with yourself. And then we'll circle back, as they like to say in corporate talk, next week with another weekend chat. Okay, bye everyone. Have a good Sunday, a day of rest for all of us. Okay, bye.